now the moment we've all been waiting for. We have the results. The judges have made the decision. I have the sheet of paper in my hand. I will first call out our fourth runner up for Ms. Wheelchair 2023. And our fourth runner up this year is Ms. Pennsylvania, Caitlin Chazer. Congratulations, yay, yay. Our third runner up for Ms. Wheelchair 2023 is Ms. Wheelchair Arizona, Brooke Brown. This year's second runner-up, by the way, um, will be receiving $1,500 from the Ms. Wheelchair organization. But this money, well, it's not like the, it's not in cash or it's not out of that, that very generous gentleman in the front row. Um, he is giving $1,500 to you and matching it, but it is for specifically for your platform development. And so the, the recipient of this $1,500, as well as our second runner up to Ms. Wheelchair America 2023 is Ms. South Carolina, Tatiana Davis. I will also say that um, for our first runner-up, as well as um, our recipient, we have some other prizes. Um, the James Salon has donated a basket valued at $500 for Ms. Wheelchair 2023. And I know I'm gonna miss this up, but is it Liberaire? Liberaire? I don't, it's Adaptive Undergarments Company. Now, how am I going to know the name of that? Um, and it, but they are actually, it's very cool. And I apologize for, for messing that up, but I'll remember it from now on. They are giving Ms. Wheelchair America and the first and second runners up, by the way, gift certificates as well. Before I call out the first runner up for Ms. Wheelchair America 2023, I want to make special note of something that is being modeled for us tonight. And it's being modeled actually by our judges. They, um, they realize that you can have ideas, you can have platforms, you can have a voice, and sometimes it's not easy to get these things done if you don't have human resources, if you don't have a team around you, and if you don't have financial resources. I mean, that is the reality of it. So something exciting and new that we have this year for the first runner up, as well as for Ms. Wheelchair America. Um, these two women will receive money for specifically platform development and making their specific platforms reality. And not that they're not reality now, but it's always easier when you've got money to have reality. Our first runner up, by the way, um, her uh, amount that she will be given is, and I know they don't like that I'm telling who's doing it, but I'm going to because I think that we all need to model this. We can all give. We may not be able to give this much, but we can give to the causes. We can give to this organization. We can give to individuals. We can all do our part. And Anila and uh, Navish, correct? Navish, um, have graciously contributed $2,500 for our first runner up to develop her platform. Dan and Holly Carmichael have, to have contributed $5,000 for Ms. Wheelchair America 2023. And again, don't be thinking like you're gonna be taking the best trip in America or something like that. <laughs> this is all for your platform development. But it's, it, I mean, talk about a Shark Tank moment where you have a starter fund, it's, it's so nice. So let's get 
to our first runner-up. And I'll, I'll say all of these things that we know, that if for some reason Ms. Wheelchair America 2023 is unable to complete her reign or fulfill her duties as first runner-up, the first runner-up will have the honor and the task of taking over as Ms. Wheelchair America 2023. Our first runner up this year, and we're not going to, we're going to give her, whichever one it is, we're going to give her her due. So often I see the first runner up, it's like everyone immediately goes for the winner, which we, sh we should do. But, but we're going to clap and be happy for the first runner up as well. It's Miss Michigan, Sarah. <laughs> and that means that our new Ms. Wheelchair America 2023 is Ms. Wheelchair North Carolina, Allie Ingersoll. Allie, come to the front. Allie, you will be appropriately crowned and sashed and start thinking because your first your first little speech as the title holder not a title holder will begin in about oh 10 seconds <laughs> slap that crown on her Sometimes that's the most important crown. Do we have any pins? There we go. There we go. Oh, you wear it well. There we have our Ms. Wheelchair 2023. Allie Ingersoll. I am humbled. I am proud. And I'm speechless, which never happens for me. <laughs> Honestly, tonight, I am proud to win. But I have made so many incredible friends and so many advocates. We've all exchanged numbers. We're going to have a very long group email thread together and starting to work on projects because as I mentioned, it takes a coalition of beautiful, smart, and intelligent women. And I am not going to do this alone. So um, my middle name is Pleasantly Persistent. And I will be pleasant and persistent with all of you. Thank you so much. I'm humbled. <laughs> Congratulations, Allie. In one moment, your life has changed forever. Right it now, is. it this has whole changed. This week has forever. changed my life forever. And I'm sure that you've changed our lives as well. Thank you so much. Just a few last minute things. Um, I'm sure that we will want to get some photos with the judges, especially of the top five. So top five, don't be racing off or going to your rooms right away or anything like that because we do want some photo opportunities. I'm sure that you all want photo opportunities as well. Thank you everybody, especially Daddy Warbucks at the front table. I thank you uh, most, but thank you everybody for 
um, all that you've done. Safe travels home, and we will see you back in Grand Rapids, Michigan next year for our program as well. Good night, everyone.